Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is gonna be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. Whew. Oh, he's right there as it's getting built. Oh, wow. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. This guy knows how to bargain. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Oh, does that mean he's going to be a squad member? Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust our transmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. No, I trust you. I believe you. You saved us from the Collector Swarm, too. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Hmm. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. In the war room, but separately. Oh, we can see the crucible here now. Wow. Does Eve not want to make her own name, though? It sounds like it's a name that Morden gave to her. We good? Things are progressing. It's progressing. Yes, and our strength is... Going up slowly but surely. Turian. The 79th Flotilla. During the Krogan Rebellions, they clash with Krogan warships and sacrifice themselves to bring down Krogan numbers. No, this is not what I want to read about now. You guys gotta... you guys gotta ally, okay? We have one common enemy. Don't think about defeating the Krogans. Salarians, Major Kirihi, 20. Kirihi made his mark leading the Salarian STG that helped Commander Shepard stop Saren at Vermeer. Lauded by his superiors for his decisive leadership under fire, Kirihi was promoted and decorated with a prestigious Star of Sirkesh, 
the Major continues to join missions with his men, believing that nothing substitutes for experience and that the best tactical strategies are planned on the battlefield. Good, good. Great to see you're still here. Terminus Fleet? This is the... Omega Gangs. The Blood Packs, and the Eclipse, and later on, the Blue Suns, if we get lucky. The Alliance, 103rd Marine Division. Yeah, 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 yeah. Updated. Team Zeta. Updated. Biotic Students. Alliance First Fleet. Near the Charon Relay. Yes, it was a diversion so that other fleets could escape. Now, the updates go on the bottom here. We have the SSV Agincourt. And the fleet lost some power because of the Battle of the Citadel. Which is, it is what it is. That's all we gotta work with. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. It sounds kind of shady. Can you help us now? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Are they not helping us now? Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Your son is on Tuchanka for some reason. Okay? The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. They came all the way out to Palavan. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. Of all the races we've come into contact with so far, the Turian Primarch is the most reasonable one, because he's a pragmatic guy, he's a military guy, not a diplomat. And he understands that we really need to work together. That's all. Of course, Commander. Rex, on the other hand... Where are you? You're here. Oh, you guys are pretty close, actually. You wanna go somewhere else? Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. <sighs> We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. 
Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got our company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and I'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Everyone has gigantic secrets they're keeping from each other, and they're relying on me to solve everything. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the Genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. She didn't need you at all, man. She was like grabbing your gun and stuff. I think she might talk less than you. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Oh. Interesting. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. The Rachni are not monolithic. The one that we saved? She came to us back on Ilium and she was saying that, yeah, we'll never appear again. What's the situation Oops. back on I'm still getting scared. So My I don't. have had enough bad luck in our time. It could be other Rachni. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. Yeah. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but. Maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <clears throat> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Yeah, go get your blood samples taken and shut up already. Wow, the Normandy is getting really crowded now. Did the Dalatrus leave? would have a base on their homeworld secured better. Nah, they were yeah. solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Reaper tech? Do they really have confirmed Reaper tech? Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Okay. Lots waiting for us. At least it seems like we have a treaty and an alliance going on, even if it's kind of an uneasy one. The Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die, and now that's about it. <laughs> so, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Vorcha? Maybe next time. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Commander? It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, 
but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. That's a good point. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Thank you, Edie. You're like the ultimate secretary. I thought you had questions like philosophical questions, but no, you're, you're planning everything out. Thank you. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right there. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions like vary me. from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Edie is kind of like an authority figure on science and stuff, so when you say something like that, it scares me. Hello, Shepard. Hi, Edie. Relax, guys. Ah, oh, it's been a long day today. Goodness. Trainer, how are you doing? Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, Trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. You'll get used to it. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. <laughs> oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. Oh my gosh. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. No limits. All limiters removed. How is that a sorry toothbrush working out? I'm kind of curious. It's not the $6,000 credit one, but um, maybe not so bad? Active duty has its perks. From Trainer. The new Tech ED license works like a charm. I can learn to like this ship. Trainer. Oh, that just came in. Oh, should we be reading from top to bottom? ANN Alert News Article, new article on indoctrination. Thessia, a sorry scientist Rana Thanoptis, again, has died in oh, has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. The Noptis worked on a top-secret project for former Spectre Saren Arterius several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. The Noptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. Oh no! It's a lady we saved twice. 
first time on Vermeyer, second time at, um... Where was the second time? It was somewhere back in 2. No, this lady knows so much about Reaper tech. But maybe because she knows so much, indoctrination is easier. No. Holding the line from Kirihi. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sir Kesh. Even if the circumstances were less than ideal, it seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Kirihi. Thank you. Regardless of political climate, does Kirihi have that much power to be able to say that? Farron. Hi, Shepard. Info for you. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort of the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Okay, thank you, Farron. From Garrus, try to get more info. I asked around about the Turian team on Tuchanka but got stonewalled. Whatever it is, it's big. Oh, you know about that already. About Sir Kesh, from Garrus. You, me, Rex, just like old times. Too bad it took the Reapers to make it happen. Yeah. The armed lizards, from Javik. Solarians used to lick their eyes in my cycle. Now they shoot guns? Javik, this is spam. Don't send me this. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> we'll need all the tech we can find from Liara. Sir Kesh had some impressive secret technology. Hopefully they didn't mind me taking a few scans. <laughs> Liara. Good, good job. Ship alterations irrational from Morden Solus. Shepard, where is my lab? Using medbay, but change the room layout is very confusing. <laughs> oh, Morden. Yeah, it's, it's a war room now. It's not the same place. But hey, you can hang out with Dr. Chakwas. That might be pretty nice. How you guys doing? Cortez fixing the shuttle again. Is it always broken? Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. At least he knows how to drive it, huh? Ma'am. Alrighty. The shotgun. I gotta equip my shotgun. But I was doing pretty well with the assault rifle. Not so bad. Um... Yes, the piranha. Ah, uh, so the, the little line here is what I have equipped right now, which means the piranha is actually really, really similar in stats to the level 2 katana that I have. Except I haven't put any mods on it, plus it's level 1. Oh, maybe this... Maybe I spent a little bit too much money here on nothing then, huh? <laughs> Doesn't really seem like it's all that different. Damage? Sure. Hmm. Capacity? Spare shot capacity. Or making it lighter? I mean, I think this is okay. Yeah. And that would make it... A little bit better than what I have right now, but just because of the mods, basically. Huh. Works with me. Did I get any other new stuff here? Even the weight, I feel like, is not that big of a problem. Capacity. Increases weapon stability by 30%. No recoil. Increases damage. Yeah. I mean, I would definitely... Oh, I don't want the scope, but... Let's see. The damage increases by so little here. It's not even worth talking about, but in terms of, like, weight, I don't think we need to worry that much. So I feel like I'll still have that, even though it's not that great. Okay. I could buy a level 3 of the assault rifle. That one seems like it's pretty good right now. But good enough that maybe I don't have to upgrade it for the moment. Oh, wow! Buying it initially was so expensive, but upgrading it is really not that different. 4,000, really? That's so little. Okay. What was this one? Procurement. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Hey there. 
You never sit. Are you ever gonna... Your owner's never coming back for you. That's kind of sad. He just abandoned his dog. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Cash. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. No, oh, you guys might have, I don't know, bond over being massive people, muscle-wise. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Hey. Everybody should be around here somewhere. Mm. Ah, Morden, female Krogan, in the medical bay. Okay, okay. Oh, Engineer Adams is in the cruise quarters with Dr. Chakwas. Okay, sounds good. I will visit all of you. Diana Allers, however, is gonna be stuck here forever. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. It is the math, you know but the you don't have to say it like us? that. The lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. The Terra Nova piece, I actually don't remember it. And if she's pulled it already, then maybe I won't get to read it again. But the way she was talking... <laughs> I feel like they want to make you not like her, though. Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? No, stay here for now. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. She's just sort of here. Okay. If you want to be a reporter, it's not enough to do the math. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. You don't want to talk about it. All good, Commander. Commander? Something like that doesn't really leave you. You'll have people like them who still want to fight the good fight, but then you'll have people like Kelly who don't want to um, do that again. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Protheans are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian... All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Javik, maybe you should stay in Samara's old room. Have a calming presence on you instead of Grunt. I guess he's a soldier, so he doesn't really get all the diplomacy stuff, but honestly, if the Protheans were so great, you'd all still be alive, okay? So the primitives that you talk about, they were the only ones here now. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. Morden's pretty strong too, STG, but maybe not Prothean level strong, Prothean commander level strong. This Cerberus, I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. Well, beats me. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. Yeah, but then you go and talk about the Krogans and the Salarians being primitive too, so... The Rex Krogan offered me a job. 
He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. How do you feel? Yes. Yes. Okay, you go simmer in your own thoughts then. Liara's the only person who wants a radio in and talk to Javik all the time. Stop annoying him. Just let him let him sit here and do nothing. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Oh, Dr. Chalk was. She's always so professional, you don't really know that she's not doing well. One... One little bit of comfort is I'm guessing the Reapers aren't really collecting anybody. They're just... Like, you're just gone. They're not gonna torture you, hopefully. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Commander? Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Oh, people moving around. Enjoying socializing and all that. It's great. How are you two doing? What's happening in there? Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. Oh my god. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <coughs> ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Rex, I showed you more than before. I brought him to Zuchanka. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Salarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Oh. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. <laughs> what was that about Garrus being attractive to? No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. <laughs> Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Morden's right though, talking out loud lets you develop new ideas. I would know. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. Oh. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. So that's like the shaman dress. It's not that all females are dressed like that. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. 
Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Oh, okay, so it's not just sitting there for seven days. You gotta actively try to escape as well. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Oh, thank you. I wish I could see the crystal. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. <laughs> but I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Everyone's concept of a better future is different too. Maybe some are completely happy fighting everybody until they die. But Rex wants something more. He wants the, um, he wants the Krogans to continue on as a race. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? That's a little bit... Yes. After my first stillborn. It's a little bit insensitive to ask, Shepard. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The Genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the Genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the Genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. Cultural effects of the Genophage, these are more invisible and harder to, um, quantify and specifically say. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the Genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. And that was, of course, Morden's loyalty mission back in 2. Would you go to Malon again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. 
Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Oh, you consider them your saviors. But um, this whole Malin experiment is sort of... I think back in 2, we condemned it as being quite unethical. But now it's producing results. Do we use those results or do we not? Well, clearly we are. Clearly we are, but it's it doesn't change that it was unethical, I guess. But we're still going to use it because it exists. And maybe you could even say that if you don't use it, then that's an even bigger waste because now people people's suffering happen for nothing. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... <laughs> well, it wasn't his ear. It's brave of Morden to share that with her. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. <laughs> Deal. A lot of humans don't treat women, human females nicely either. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. Oh good. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Yeah, okay. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. I can understand that if the data exists already, but I also agree with what Shepard said here because the act of you being willing to use data from unethical origins automatically means that it encourages data to be born of unethical origins. Because people don't actually care anyway, so people who don't care about ethics will keep doing it. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. Wow. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said... Please. Oh, Didn't have to resort to violence. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. 
Turian's doomed without Progen support. Progen need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Well, thank you, Morden, for your work. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. <laughs> Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Morden does bring up a good point, though. Uh, we like to discuss whether the genophage is a good thing or a bad thing, but one other factor that's kind of important is time. The genophage was the right decision, at that moment in time. And now it's no longer the case. So now we have to do course correction. Yeah, we don't have to commit to it one thing being right forever, for all of eternity. Situations change. And when that happens, we can change our minds. Okay, well, you guys rest up, okay? Rest up. You too, Morden. Don't just start running tests on Eve all day long. Hey, Karis. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. That's what I've heard. So I've heard. <laughs> I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? Yeah, for some reason. I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Cause trouble? He's our savior, basically. Later. Okay. Our ship is slowly but surely getting crowded. But maybe eventually we gotta drop some people off, though. I can't imagine the female Krogan would be here for... ever. Soliara. Still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> really? Weapon upgrade kit. One time upgrade to increase ammo capacity or potential damage dealt. Potential damage dealt. Yeah. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. What? Everyone has an opinion on the mission, but you don't? Really? Prothean Notes 2183, Entry 3. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if he could bring them all back again. Oh, yeah. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Well, Javik is a sample size of one. There might be nicer, more agreeable people out there who are dead. <laughs> Email from Professor Takisha to Dr. Oduo. I was calling every supply depot station around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later, saying the Broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> That's scary. Why can't the Shadow Broker just officially work with the project? Please enjoy your day. Is that a little bit too official for them? They like being in the shadows, as, you know, the Shadow Broker and all that? 
We are Garrus, Morden, female Grogan. Okay. Yeah, this map is handy. What about my fish? Can I just make sure they're alive? I bought that auto feeder, but I still wanna feed you from time to time. Fishies, welcome back. Welcome back to your home. Where was Kelly even keeping them? Did she have a tank that she was carrying around the whole time? Um... No, I feel like we're at war now, so I don't really even want to put on the hoodie anymore. Like, okay, this is not happening. This is a little bit too casual. This might be okay. This is too... refugee look. This might be okay for like an official situation, like the diplomat summit. Yeah, like maybe this one? Or this one. This one might be like a little bit higher ranking. It's got like shoulder pads and all that. Okay, sure. Sure, sure. What do we have now then? We have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Let's have a look at the codex. Yeah. Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorate. Dr. Morden Solis is a master geneticist and former operative for the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Dr. Solis is well known for his work in perpetuating the genophage, a biological weapon that almost completely sterilized the Krogan species. He eventually left the STG to open a clinic on Omega, where his combat skills kept the clinic safe and operational amid Omega's lawless society. In 2185, Commander Shepard recruited Dr. Solis to research the Collectors and the Reapers. He was a member of the Normandy crew that traveled beyond the Omega-4 relay to attack the Collectors. He survived the mission, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Everyone just split, just like back in Mass Effect 2 in the beginning when Shepard died. Shepard is the glue that holds everybody together. Citadel Council. The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Oh, we've read this. We've read this, I remember it. The exact wording. Ah, the Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Council Citadel in 2165. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member. Okay, so we have like Elcor being the associate member, Volus being associate members. Okay, got you, got you. Citadel space. An official and unofficial term referring to any region of space controlled by a species that acknowledges the authority of the Citadel Council. At first glance, it appears this territory encompasses most of the galaxy, but in reality, it's less than 1% of the stars that have been explored. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've read this one too, back in 1. Whenever a new relay is activated, the destination system is rapidly developed. Because the Reapers want us to develop it that way, pretty much. And now, now they're coming for us. Oh, Mass Effect 3 from Ashes. Ah, this is the DLC, the Javik DLC. In 2151, as the first anxious settlers made their way through the new Charon mass relay, many of them wondered whether the reality of life on Eden Prime could possibly live up to the stories of pristine landscapes that drew them there. What the colonists found exceeded their expectations. The stable climate and compatible biology made the colony almost instantly viable. Over the next few decades, several million humans immigrated to Eden Prime, and a primary agrarian culture developed. The new colony quickly became not only self-sufficient, but began exporting goods. Chief among these were rare plants grown from Earth's many heritage seed libraries. But in 2183, the colonists faced a true test of their character. Eden Prime was attacked by the rogue specter Saren Arterius and his Geth allies. Not long after, the Citadel was attacked by those same forces and Eden Prime's neighboring world Terra Nova found itself threatened with complete destruction. Faced with such violence, a lesser citizenry might have retreated back into the safety of Earth, as so many colonists of Terra Nova did, but Eden Prime's governing body refused to give in. Not only did the colonists vote overwhelmingly to block a measure calling for the building of evacuation ships, they voted to ease restrictions on emigrants from Terra Nova looking for a new home. As a result, Eden Prime's population has swelled. Whatever the war might bring, its status as a symbol of humanity's future in the stars remains unblemished. That's good. That's awesome to see that, you know, they're still fighting on. Prothean Beacon. 
In 2183, human scientists uncovered a Prothean technological artifact on the planet of Eden Prime. While repelling an attack by Saren Arterius' Geth allies, Commander Shepard's squad came into the artifact's proximity and set it off. The object, described as a beacon, sent the commander jumbled sounds and images intended to warn the imminent Reaper, warn of the imminent Reaper invasion. The beacon overloaded during the process and violently exploded. While the vision it provided was dismissed by the Citadel Council as a highly subjective experience, since that time, the Council's Committee on Paleotechnology have analyzed the fragments of the beacon in an effort to understand how it communicated. What they found was not quite telepathic technology that the Alliance Marines described in their reports. The beacon was equipped with a Mass Effect field generator to hold its subject immobile, a necessary step to minimize collateral damage during the rest of the process. The beacon then nearly instantaneously scanned the structure of its target's optic and auditory nerves, as well as many parts of the brain responsible for memory. Once its expert system determined the proportions of these key features, the beacon stimulated them with pinpoint electromagnetic and other irradiative energy, using powerful programs to recreate any images or sound the beacon required. In principle, this was similar to the popular entertainment device known as SimStim, but vastly more comprehensive. SimStims direct the senses, not memory. The Normandy's medical officer noted that the beacon delivered more information over the space of seconds than a SimStim could do in hours, and managed to do so to a species whose physiology was completely unknown to its designers. To a paleotech, the fact that Commander Shepard needed assistance to decipher the message as a minor footnote compared to the Protheans' accomplishment, getting any of the message to Shepard at all. Yeah, that's a really, really important point. They didn't build this for the humans. They built this for probably other Protheans or other creatures similar to how Protheans are made, but humans are like completely different and yet the message came through. It's pretty damn amazing.